So I had high hopes of this. I had some high hopes. We have successfully done nothing for the last uh, four hours. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Great. Welcome back. So, it's been a long day. The first thing we got to do is actually eat. We skipped the lunch. Well, you didn't skip lunch. You got... Did you eat something? You always eat something somewhere. But just got home. 6 o'clock, Thursday. It's supposed to start raining. The weather's actually pretty decent as far as temperature. 63 is a high, I think it was today. Tonight, it's supposed to be a low of like 50. So things are actually good there, but windy and rain. So we're going to stay inside here, but we're going to, you know, got a small of each so we could treat ourselves some turkey, steak and cheese, and Mango's favorite mozzarella sticks. You also like steak, don't you? You want to stand for it? Oh, yeah. There you go. So yesterday, we were working on this pipe, getting that on. Still got to take a little bit out of it. It's going to take two people to get that other one lined up and slide it in. So we'll hold on to that for a little bit. I do have to take um, all the meters out of these boxes and get them sent to uh, Brittany at Binkley and Hurst. She says they're actually all caught up, so they're going to rebuild them all, which means going through it, and then they're going to uh, run it through it is close to 100% accurate it it's quite a process well not quite a process but if you got the machine to do it because different let me see if I know this right there's a spring and different specs on it will make it run differently and everything else but they all need new belts because there's nothing and I, uh, we're gonna when we pop them off we'll see what they look like inside so that is where we're at but all right what are we doing Let's see how this fits up and what, what our plan is for this. I'm a little, I was a little nervous on it of quality because there were some bad reviews. I talked to a few buddies who actually run them on dump trucks and had them on different vehicles. And they say, as long as you don't run them dry right at the beginning, you should be good. That's what the biggest problem is. People run them, they turn them on and they have no fluid in them and they kill them. I do have the hoses that go on this back. Um, that should run the functions. I'm thinking that's what they actually run. We're gonna find out. This, I'm gonna mount it on the back of the trailer. We're gonna get a battery to go with it. But if I notch this out, it will sit right in here. Could put a battery next to it or could put a battery in here. And then if we just modify that so that the lid still fits on somewhat, but the hoses come out of the top. So that is what I'm thinking. That'll be handy. I am going to leave just the fenders because while well, the lights hang on it and everything else, we'll figure something out. But let's see what we can uh, get plumbed up and what we can go with on it. Uh, we don't need those lines. Not sure what they used what for. A little brake clean, get them cleaned out. Not sure what they had where, but we'll find out. I've been looking for a soapstone. Here one is. Nice. That's a win. What kind of plugs we got going on in here? Uh, there is an adapter set. Let me grab those. Uh, so, I do not have enough hydraulic lines or the right fittings to go to do any of the functions like that. But I can take the function that was here, that line, and flip them around. And we're going to see. We're going to fill this up with some hydraulic oil. We'll ratchet strap that up 
so it's not hitting and we'll see if we can make that rotate so that at least we know we're going in the right direction but i just got a notification that a package got delivered so we'll go up front and we'll see what that was you guys think he was up to no good you were being a little angel weren't you you were sitting over in the corner come here you don't have to put your head down you're good come here you're good oh yeah you were eating stuff weren't you though a lot of people ask why there's a fence like this well the state as part of the lease and everything we keep an operational dairy farm open to the public so this is the pathway when they give tours and that is what it is gonna get windy and rainy tonight windy and rainy what do we have here took me a little bit I hope they were the right ones took me some searching on the wet interweb what do we got I sure hope they're right. Oh, it's a... You guys ready for this? They look great. John Deere 7,000 badges. Woo-wee! Alrighty, let me show you. I can't show you and hold that. I think the light's getting the worst of us. Let me push it up. Move some things in. There we go. John Deere 7,000. So, yeah. Now we're going to be official. I was... Those ones aren't bad on it, but if we're going to paint everything, we're going to paint the tongue and then we won't have badges. We could tape them off or we could strip it down, paint it, put these on. So these weren't a thing available from deer. So it took me a little bit to find them, but they were cheap, 30 bucks or something like that. So now we got those. I'm glad those came in. The rest of the parts should be here tomorrow for that planner. As far as to put the row units on, then we got to figure out exactly. I got bearings and whatnot coming. Um, yeah, that. Glad these showed up and they're right. So I'm on the phone and I'm back here and I'm like, okay, I'll fill this up. And boy, did I make a mess of it. Like I got hydraulic oil everywhere, but we're filled. What I heard is, if you ever try running these when they're low, that's how you burn these valves out. I did climb up there. I got a ratchet strap going across where uh, the lift boom will go, or lift cylinder will go. So we're hooked up, and I did give it a try, and we blew that cap right off. So the top ones are this end, at least that's what I'm thinking, but got this remote, which we're gonna extend the cable out. So let's, I guess that's, oh, holding it the wrong way now. Did that one just blow apart too? I don't know where that one came from. Oh yeah, it blew the hole right out. So, it's hooked up. I don't know if we need to get some air out of there or what. Stuff's smoking over there. Uh, actually, the PSI is probably not turned up. So I take it this this one is the PSI. I think there's no directions, which is good. Let me look it up. So I had high hopes of this. I had some high hopes. We have successfully done nothing for the last uh, four hours. It's, it's past 11 now and it's pouring out. But I got it so it could turn one way. And either something's not right with the valves or I'm not setting something right, but I 
I need to get some air and just apply air to each one and see how it is. It sh should just be plug and play, but I can't get hydraulics out of some side of the ports. It would turn one way, I got it to turn the other way. I've checked that the solenoids actually move stuff. I had to mess with those. So currently they're all ripped apart, but I'm going home. It's been a long enough day. Short video of uh, the struggles. So making a mess with the hydraulics. This will work once I figure out why it only comes out of one side. Cause I can get it so it turns and it hits it back that way, but I want it to go both ways on that. But. Alrighty, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm friggin' beat. Yeah, I'm tired. Covered in hydraulic oil. So as you all know, yesterday I spent way too much time messing around with this. I got a mess, I got all sorts of stuff. I think I got it though. Yeah, this is, <laughs> but all right, let me get this cleaned up and we'll give it a try and then I'll go over what I did. So last night I should have just went home earlier and not even bothered with this because I needed to think about what was going on and I spent a long time, but there we go. So there's no directions with any of this. I tried calling the company. I was like, maybe these are bad, maybe that's bad. There's an extra spacer in between here. And I messed around turning these around, things like that. The voltage wasn't right, couldn't figure it out. It was when you took it apart, um, the valve itself would work. But the second you put it back together and put fluid to it, it wouldn't come out one side of it. So none of that made any sense. So I got stuff all mixed up. I gotta put these back together the way they were. And these these lines are not exactly the right size for them. We got fittings to go in. But we got it now. So now that I know this is actually going to do what I want it to do, and if you ask me, that's, that's pretty nice. But we're losing all our hydraulic oil, so I should stop doing this. So we'll have to get the right lines made up. But this three functions, yeah, I'm making a wicked mess. So this, these three functions are gonna do the up and down, the open of the spread, and the rotate. We're gonna tie into the other one, or tie into maybe one of these functions to open the guillotine valve. Um, you can only get them with six, so it only makes sense to do it that way. I think, maybe. I don't know how they had it tied in before. It teed through and went back to itself, and I'm not sure, so, but. Alrighty, now that I know it works, we're in a much better place. I just got to redo all this stuff and make sure we look better. Clean up some of my mess. But appreciate you guys watching along on this one. This was a battle. That was frustrating. I called the company. No answer. Called another number that says the company. No answer. So I figured that's how it was going to be. But if it was like 450 bucks for this. And if it was out of it, it was out of it. But I think it's going to work. I've heard some okay things about them so we're gonna put a battery in the back here and we're gonna we're gonna set it over on this side I think we'll cut this open we'll set it in there um, build a bracket that holds it in and then we'll run all our functions with it we'll get hydraulic hose made up Whew. yeah well, appreciate you guys watching along I'm glad I got that that was frustrating I'm glad it's good now so well, alrighty have a good one I'll see you on the next one